So welcome to this uh, welding technology course. Course code is PR8592 and it is a professional elective subject for the regulation 2017. So here uh, coming to the syllabus in unit 2 this is uh, you have resistance welding process. So we'll be studying about the resistance welding process uh, and you have the syllabus here as uh, uh, different types of resistance welding process like spot welding, seam welding, projection welding, resistance butt welding, flash butt welding, percussion welding and high frequency resistance welding processes. And you will be studying about advantages, uh, limitations and applications. So introduction to the resistance welding. So resistance welding is a welding process in which uh, work pieces are uh, welded due to a com combination of uh, pressure applied to them and a localized heat generated by a high electric current flow through the contact area of the weld. So here you have the uh, diagram in which uh, you have an upper copper electrode and a bottom copper electrode and in between these electrode you are placing the uh, metal that met, uh, with that uh, metals that you are going to weld. So uh, power AC power supply is given to the copper electrode and the force is applied from the either end of the copper electrode. So here in resistance welding uh, you are uh, supplying heat as well as you are supplying pressure. So that is uh, resistance welding. So the following metals may be welded by resistance welding, like low carbon steels. So the widest applications of resistance welding and aluminum alloys can be welded. Medium carbon steels, high carbon steels and alloy steels uh, may be welded, but the weld is uh, brittle. So the different types of resistance welding, you have uh, spot welding and the seam welding, projection welding, and you have this uh, flash welding and upset welding, percussion welding and you have this high frequency resistance welding. So coming to the spot welding, you have the two types that is a single spot welding machine and you have multi spot welders. So single spot welding machine, you have a single spot whereas the multi spot welders, you have uh, num uh, as many as uh, number of uh, welding spots. So coming to the advantages of resistance welding, the high welding rates and the fumes is very low. This welding is cost effectiveness. It's easy automation and no filler materials are required here in resistance welding and uh, it's of uh, low distortion. So coming to the disadvantages of this uh, resistance welding, this uh, equipment uh, cost of the equipment is very high so the low strength of uh, discontinuous welds and the another disadvantage of this is uh, the thickness of the welded sheet is limited uh, so there's a limitation so only up to uh, six mm uh, thickness uh, plate can be welded by using this uh, uh, resistance welding so these are all the uh, disadvantages of uh, resistance welding and the uh, applications of uh, the resistance welding it includes as uh, type of welding can be widely used uh, within automotive industries making of uh, nut as well as uh, bolt so in most of the automotive industries uh, this uh, resistance welding uh, that is uh, uh, different types of uh, resistance welding or there, the spot welding and the seam welding like that. So those uh, weldings are being used in automotive industries. Next, uh, seam welding can be utilized to generate a leak proof joint. So necessary within uh, little tanks, boilers. So for uh, welding this uh, little tanks and boilers, uh, you can use this uh, uh, resistance uh, welding so that is seam welding is one of the resistance welding process and uh, flash welding can be used for welding tubes and pipes so for uh, uh, joining 
the tubes and pipes you can use uh, flash welding it's, uh, it's also one of the resistance welding application uh, welding process which can be used for uh, joining of uh, tubes and pipes so with this we come to an end to the introduction part of the unit 2 and uh, thank you and